this type of hunt has just been something I've been missing for months now at this point. Uh, ever since the introduction of the new scoring system, and it was mainly because Blacktown Elk just couldn't make diamonds. So one of my favorite things to do is go into multiplayer and just hunt whatever the best species to hunt for the particular time is. So for instance, right now it is 1744. Blacktail Elk are going to be drinking. So that's mainly what I'm going to be going after. But in the past, if I were to join the server uh, while Blacktail Elk were broken, I wouldn't have much real reason to go for them. And it was just a lot less fun for me to do that. And the thing is, like, my main goal probably for a long time is going to be to try to get a great one. But most often, whatever, you know, I have a goal set for to go get, I usually don't get it while I'm hunting it. I usually get it while I'm hunting something else. So I'm kind of hoping this kind of hunt where we're just hunting whatever is best in the particular server can lead to maybe a great one or other kind of cool stuff that we could actually uh, find now, now that I have a good reason to hunt the map. So we're going to run around. We're going to look for black tail elk. Of course, we don't have really any good trophies from either of those species in the lodge yet. So any of those we can get or just anything cool. There's actually a nice whitetail buck running around down here for some reason, so I guess we'll try to get that. That'll work. I don't know where, like, he must have been in with that other herd. Maybe I spooked him and didn't see him and then just happened to run into him down here again. But the main reason I wanted to come up here mainly was because whitetail I know feed, like, right up by this lake. But also... I joined the server a little bit before 1700 and I wanted to make sure all the blacktail elk would be in their zones before we went and hunted them. So we'll do a little bit of hopping around, see if we can find anything cool for either of those species. And the nice thing is, I mean, coyotes start to come out to feed now, like I said, whitetail are feeding. The evening actually is a really good time to hunt, and I was thinking of starting to do some videos hunting like later in the day, because I always do the 5 to 9 drink times for blacktail, elk, red deer, stuff like that. So that's actually something I wanted to start doing as well, so maybe this hunt could even give me more of a reason to do so. So I think this is going to be our best elk option at this lake. There's one other good one, uh, this guy here, but he goes up to 296, and that first one's up to 301, so I would say he's a little bit bigger. I think that one was hiding behind the rock, but still. That's our best one, so we'll get him, and then I want to head down to this lake, because, again, the stuff between these two lakes can be really interesting. I think whitetail can be up here. I know rabbits should be out. Coyotes are going to be out feeding, like I said, and they live up in this area. Like, going between the zones is actually one of my favorite things to do, and I was missing out on that because I was never going to the elk and blacktail zones. But yeah, looks like either way our option was going to be a silver, so not like we could have done any better, but let's head down to that lake. I thought I saw a light-colored elk go down here, but... I was just following them to make sure there wasn't any max weight ones. And there's a decent little albino. You know what? Yeah, I might have even shot him in the spinal cord and lost the score. But if he's going to get stuck up there, we're totally going to take that shot. Because it didn't look like they were slowing down anytime soon. But yeah, I just assumed that I saw a female. And maybe I did. Maybe I never did actually see him. But I sort of tracked the herd down and around. Because I only had two tracks, and I was assuming there should be a third, but... That's probably him there, and he's no better looking than the albino, but... That's actually cool. The only bad thing is, I spent a little more time tracking these elk than I would have wanted to. So, we're getting pretty much into nighttime. But I think what I'll probably do is actually still stay in the server and use the night vision binoculars. Because I think that could actually be interesting. If it wasn't... Even, like, if just one of these times was bent down like that, it would make so much sense, like, it just, like, knocked it on a tree in velvet. But when it's even, it just looks so weird. It sucks, because the brow tines are great, and the tops are kind of weird, too, but... We actually got a neck shot, and a lung, so that saved us the vital check. And we'll put him in the lodge somewhere, even though he's not the prettiest elk. But I think we're going to do the Chula area next, just to see if we can get any more cool elk or blacktail. So, uh, time got changed to 9 a.m., which means Blacktail are drinking still. What is the requirement for these now? 170-something. I guess we gotta go for it. I did not expect to see a 5 just over there. But, um, 154 to 198 would be a 44 range, so he's 176. Gosh, I don't know what the estimate you need is, or the score you need is, rather. I guess I don't know what the estimate you need is either, but... 
he's gonna be so close. And I know I've seen uh, Diamond Blacktail with that skinnier rack, which I don't know how I feel about that really, but I guess it's kind of a change of scale for the Blacktail that we need to get used to. So I actually, unfortunately, think this is gonna depend a lot on the spread of the deer, because he's definitely gonna be close. He doesn't look wonky or anything, so I'm not sure just because he's a small rack that he has a chance. But yeah, 176.50, you need 177.50, one off. Dang. He's a good weight too, 90.57. So I think he's actually low trophy rating, but still cool. First uh, actual black tail with the chance of diamond I feel like I've shot in a long time. Oh no way, please be a male. Oh my god. That's so lucky. Okay, I was actually kind of upset when the time got changed on that last server because I so wanted to go around and like hunt black bear and stuff. But that is exactly what I've been wanting. An albino male uh, jackrabbit. I think... I actually don't know what I want to put that with. So we have the melanistic fox. It could go with that. Or it can go with the two coyotes. There's a diamond and a piebald coyote. It's going to go in one of those two multi-mounts. I don't know which. We'll have to see. But... I can't believe that. It's even, it could be a gold male. But yeah. The whole kind of concept was I don't usually find what I'm looking for. And that's the joy of multiplayer, I guess, is like I don't choose what I'm looking for. So a lot of times I just hunt whatever's drinking. And I'm only over here because it was a little before Whitetail started drinking. And I knew rabbits were out. And I thought maybe I can get a diamond or a rare for the multi mount. <laughs> but didn't actually think we'd find one. So maybe asking a little much at this point, but if this could also be a gold, that would be really cool. But we do have to get a quick screenshot. I've never killed an albino male rabbit. Even for the arrow hairs, the one or two albinos I got were females. But it is a gold. 5.5 trophy rating is only 0.8 away from actually being a diamond albino, which would have been nuts. But got that long shot in there for good measure. And that is definitely going to be Added one of our multi mounts, so two albinos today. But, I mean, one I actually have been searching for, and that's really, really lucky we found that. But, yeah, let's just, let's just make it two for two. Now it is way till drink time. Let's just go find the great one, because that's the other thing I'm looking for. I swear, this is going to take some getting used to, but that's actually like a decent blacktail buck. I think gold's in the 120s or 130s, so he's a little bit below that. But, yeah, he's nowhere near the basically tiny status those antlers would have been in the past. So I'm trying to make a point of like remembering that when I see Blacktail and realizing like what's actually decent. So that guy would be a little better. Don't know if we got that. Let's say we didn't. Well we got something. Probably vertebrae from the looks of it. But we'll go and see anyway. Okay so 134 for gold. And he's 120, so, I mean, close. I guess that could qualify as decent, but the other one we shot, there's blood right there, and I know he was almost dead by the time he got to this point, so he should be somewhere up here. It's medium bleed rate, so maybe we actually got, like, liver or something? Though I feel like actually he would have died quicker. Yeah, so it was actually vertebrae. Pretty much placed that where I wanted, just a little bit too high. And he wasn't actually quite to gold either. And I was hoping there would be some whitetail hanging out around Balmont Lake, but I'm not really seeing any. Oh yeah, there's some over here. It's actually a solid two. Couple more over in there as well, so... Apparently they're still just getting here, which is a little bit weird, because it's... I mean, what time is it in game now? Almost 1400? But... We'll kind of run in a little bit closer and make sure there's no more just... Back in the brush still running in, then... We'll get that biggest one anyway. Okay, but first... We gotta spot all these rabbits, because even though I do have a diamond, I wouldn't mind getting another one. I know Balmont Lake is a good rabbit spot, but my goodness. Okay, I think I spotted all but that one, which is another decent male and the one that's hiding behind that. So I'll try to spot as well with the M1 after we get our decent buck. But there was that one max estimate one, which if we can get it, I'll go for it. I definitely need to spot that rabbit if I can. I had it spotted. Okay, that's just a one. 
Not really going very far. That's the one I want. It says he's calm still. I don't know if I really believe that. Ooh, that was close. If you didn't start hopping, we'd have been fine. But, I mean, I guess there's probably a really low chance that twos make diamond. It's not likely. So yeah, not a bad white tail. And I did actually see a gray rabbit again. Don't know if that would have been it. But they're certainly not coming back. I don't know. It's probably not worth it for a two. If it was a three, I'd obviously chase it, but... I think since we're running out of white tail drink time, we should probably focus on them. Or I guess if we're going to find them again. That's not the same one, but I'm pretty sure it's the same little group of rabbits, so... He may be in here. I'm not really sure. But... Actually, even more over there, which I guess we'll take a look at. But this is usually a deer spot, at least on my map it is. I don't really see any of them. But we'll spot all these quickly. Oh, there we go. No way. Almost didn't even bother. But for some reason, I'm interested in rabbits today. Checking some rabbit spots, and it's working. Sometimes you need two shots, apparently, but... Could we have a diamond and an albino rabbit in the same video? That would be nuts. But that was actually even a gold gray that we did shoot. And the one that got away obviously was a gold, because he was the high estimate. But... I think it was definitely a good thing that we sort of followed them a little bit over here to get that one gray, because I might not have bothered checking down at that spot otherwise. But that almost turned interesting, since we missed the first shot. And yeah, that's a big one. He's max weight, actually. Point one away from max trophy rating, so not a max diamond, but definitely a really good size one. And I would say my biggest diamond rabbit on the new system, so... Definitely gonna have some stuff to figure out for, like, what diamond or rare we're putting where for those multi-mounts now, but... Actually turned into quite a good rabbit hunt of all things. But I think that's gonna actually be a pretty good spot to end. So this is our new diamond rabbit in with the melanistic fox. I know the melanistic fox with an albino rabbit seems like a cool concept, but... Honestly, I'm really happy with the albino rabbit in with the... Uh, two coyotes. So I did stick the elk over here, which I don't know. The rack is not my favorite, so maybe not one that's gonna stick around forever. But definitely with the amount of plaques that we have to fill right now, uh, he's got a spot in here that's gonna be staying for a while. But then we have the old diamond rabbit, which I don't know why I'm showing that. That wasn't killed in today's video, but that got taken out of this multi mount, and I just think this looks way too cool. To not have the albino here so that's the diamond coyote at the bottom pilot coyote up top and the albino rabbit obviously which i really wanted to do that but i did not realize like how cool that would look i'm really really happy with it but yeah that turned into one heck of a hunt uh none of the things that i was looking for as far as great ones trophy blacktail or elk i guess the albino elk but not a diamond anyway we could have killed an albino elk for a long time but uh yeah, turned into maybe better. Diamond Rabbit for the Fox multi-mount, Albino Rabbit for this multi-mount, and we get to actually display a Diamond Rabbit just out by itself as well. So yeah, pretty cool, but that's going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.